With October right around the corner, I thought it would be fun to make some Halloween candy for the dolls. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this project is. All right, off camera, I mixed my clays. So this is two parts of an orange polymer clay to one part translucent. This is two parts black to one part translucent. And this is equal parts pearl and translucent. So let's start off by making some lollipops I saw online. I thought they were awfully cute for Halloween. So we're gonna take a little black and a little orange. Don't need that much. And we're just gonna make a snake. We're not worried about how big our snake is at this point. We're just making a snake. And then we're going to put them together. They're going to be about the same size, but they don't have to be perfect. Kind of pushing them together. Now, I'm not going to worry about twisting at this point. Right now, I am just making a smooth cane out of the two colors. And they can do whatever they want to. And they don't, the lines don't even have to be straight on them. Get them down to a pretty consistent um, size. And let's cut this in half. Now I have a piece of paper here. I'm going to use this to form my lolly. These are going to be lollipops. This circle is 7 eighths of an inch in diameter. And that's going to be the approximate size of our little pop, little lollipops. Now you can make them any size you want. I saw bigger ones and I saw smaller ones online. We're going to make a couple of variations on this. A couple of different color vari variations. So, And you're, you don't have to have this completely twisted evenly. It's okay because by the time you start wrapping it around itself and make sure that the center is nice and tight. That's really the only the only thing here that you have to be careful of. And we're going to wrap it around. It doesn't have to be perfect. And rather than cutting that little tiny bit off, I'm going to make this one just a little bit bigger. Kind of push it down with your thumb, your fingers, so that it stays. Let's take this one. And we're going to do that again. And sometimes it helps if you have it in your finger, up in your hand. Sometimes it works better to start it on the paper. I go back and forth on that. Now, we need to add these guys to a, we need to add a stick to them so that the dolls can eat them. <clears throat> For that, we're going to use some liquid polymer clay. This is liquid Sculpey. And it is a transparent clay. It will, it's white now, but it will dry fairly, um, it will cure out fairly clear. We used it last week in the grapes on this channel. And this is just a round toothpick. I'm holding my finger on top of this just so that I can make sure that it doesn't poke up. Retrieve my parchment paper. I forgot to bring my parchment paper over. Now I have a paper plate to bake on with a piece of parchment on it. Done too. Let's 
again start at the point where you ended your your snake if you have a huge gob of polymer liquid polymer clay wipe it off there we go now let's take We're going to do a couple of things with this piece. We're going to start by making a I'm just making kind of a, a round piece. snake and an orange snake. couple of different things here. So I'm going to start with the mouth so the colors are alternating. I'm going to use my clay roller. Make sure that you end so that you only have one layer. I'm going to cut off that orange and part of that black. There we go. do a couple of things with this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll the knife around to cut. When you're cutting a cane, you always want to roll your knife, or roll your clay with your knife going down, so that it stays nice and round. And let's cut. This piece is scrap because it does, it's got a hole in it. Once again, I dip this in there. And there we 
go. I've got another style of Olipop. So let's do one more like that and then I'll show you what else we can do with this particular cane. Cut this one a little thicker so I can round it out a little bit better and make it a little bit better size. But like I said earlier, these come in all different sizes in real life. got that one. Now another thing we can do is we can take this same cane, put the lid on this before I spill it because that would be just something I would do. And you'll notice when you're rolling these out that you're going to end up with a hole in the end. That's all right. We're just going to cut that off. some little candies. So I'm going to cut get that a little bit smaller. And if they're not perfectly round, that's okay. We can fix that here in a minute. That one's a little thicker than I wanted it. That's a better size. I like that one better. These two are a little too big. These over here. Oops. Don't want you on top of each other. I have the the um, parchment paper there because of the liquid sculpey. I don't want this to. If there's any liquid sculpey on the outside of the clay, I don't want it to stick to the paper plate. Just like last week when we did the grapes. If you saw that one. those also there. Right side up. Now I've got cornstarch in here. I'm just going to dip my finger. Little cornstarch. That'll keep my finger from sticking to these. Another lollipop. Just use a little of that. Uh, let's go. A little bit more of those. And probably a little more of that too. Now I like to use, you could use white instead of pearl. I just like the pearl. I think it makes a prettier candy. It looks more sugary than white. Ah, it's sticking to my 
fingers. I don't want to put too much cornstarch on my fingers at this point because I want the clay to stick together. And if I get too much cornstarch on the outside of the clay, it won't stick to itself either. It will prevent it from sticking to me, but it won't stick to itself. And that's really sticking to me. Okay, let's try that again. That's better. Orange stripe. Okay. Let's put this one here. Kind of flatten it on and put the other black directly across from it. The orange in between. A little longer. And so they're even. And I'm just pushing in with my hands to make sure that it's kind of sealed down. And it's always best to cut these so that they're easier to work with. If they're too long, they're not going to be, they're going to get really hard to work with and keep it together. Now, if when you are rolling this, if you feel a squishy spot in your clay, like if I was to push here and it just squished, that would mean there's an air pocket. And you'll need to press firmly on that spot and see if you can eliminate that air pocket. these guys. I might make another one and put the stick in off camera. I think I've only got one more toothpick at the table. Do that. And another thing that's fun to do with these Two sticks. Now the dolls have just a candy stick. How big is that? That might be. Eh, that's probably about right. Let's get this guy cut. Actually, I'll put the stick in this one later because you've seen me do that. I want to show you one more thing before I go bake these all off. twisty and this time we're going to dip that in there oopsie that got a little bit too thin there. That's okay, we'll take that part off. I 
You're not going to cooperate. Okay, that one's not going to cooperate, so we're going to use this piece. This will work for this too. this on the stick. And there. So I will put a stick in this guy off camera. I'm going to put these over here. I'm going to bake this all at 275 for probably about 10-15 minutes and when it's all baked and cooled I'll come back and we'll look at these and maybe we'll make something else. All right these are all baked and starting to cool. I think they turned out really fun. Um, but why, let's get these off here. It's very dark. They just look so, they're just so much fun to do. I love making polymer clay candy. It's just Fun. You can be creative. So while this was baking, I was playing around with my clay and I've got a whole bunch of scraps here. We've got this one we cut off. I've got some from pieces I made for my other channel. I've got lots of different stuff. So I thought it would be kind of fun to just gather a bunch of these scraps up. They're all the same colors. They're just canes that are slightly different. So rather than throwing this directly into my scrap clay, I'm just going to do this. Now I'm not mixing. I am going to be very careful not to mix this very much, in fact. And I think we're going to have something kind of cool here when we get done. And I'm kind of pressing along to make sure I don't have air bubbles inside. Let me go get the doll. I'm going to turn the camera off and go get the doll, go get one of my 18-inch dolls. Right. I've cut this piece of the cane and I'm going to try it in the doll's hand. And yeah, that's a good size. That's a nice, like jawbreak, small jawbreaker type candy. So I am going to cut this up, and they don't all have to be the exact same size. And maybe you've got other hard candies that you've seen that you would like to replicate. Have fun with this. This is lots of fun to play with. But for these, all I'm going to do is make balls. And because I didn't, not, I didn't mix that clay together, we've got really intricate looking lines on our candies. Wouldn't these look really neat in a candy jar or a candy bowl sitting with in your doll scene? So I am going to roll a whole bunch of these and then I'm going to bake them at about to well at 275 for probably about 10 minutes to get them cooked all the way through. And then when I get that done, I'll come back and we will put a clear finish on these candies so they look a lot more realistic. Be back in a sec. All right, these are all baked off and cooled now. And it's okay if they stick together a little bit. Just separate them apart. That happens when they roll together when you're baking them. And then we have all the pieces we made on camera. And the dolls, they could open a doll, a uh, candy store at this point because not only do I have those, but when I was prepping for this video, I made all of these. I made them the same way. These have actually got finish on them already. Those don't, though. I mixed them all up. So I made these also the other day. I was just kind of playing around prepping for the video. So I'm going to put the ones here. These are a little smaller because, you know, candies come in different sizes. So I'm going to put all of these guys in here. 
and then we're going to quickly put a finish on our candy. I'm going to use some satin Mod Podge. Alright, I'm going to brush it onto these ones that have the handles on them, but these ones that don't, I'm just going to pour a little bit. This is a clean-ish container. And put the lid on my jar before I set it down. And I'm just going to drop these in here. are not going to work in there. You'll need to pick some kind of finish that is um, compatible with your polymer clay. Don't use things like nail polish because that will actually over time melt the polymer clay. And it looks like I need to go get a little bit of water because this is really thick. All right, let's just add a little bit of water to that because it doesn't have to be as thick as it is out of the jar for this job. And now all we have to do is just kind of mix them around in there. And then I will get, I forgot to get the parchment paper. I am really disorganized. I'll be right back. All right, so now I have a piece of parchment paper laying here. Now I can just pull all of these out. And do your best to make sure they're not stuck together. I know that's a lot easier said than done, and I'll I won't bore you with doing that on camera because I'm gonna go ahead and get these little guys done. And the ones on the handles are going to be the easiest. Now remember, don't forget to separate those guys. And now I have a piece of foam core here. You use anything, uh, foam core, uh, styrofoam, whatever. And we're just going to paint a clear finish on all of these and then stick them in there. So I'll just do a couple on camera and then I will turn the camera off. I'll get the rest of these finished and then when they are dry I will come back and we will trim the handles down and see how they look with the doll. So let's do one more on camera. I love how these come out. They're so fun to do. They're so easy. All right, so you get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting these with Mod Podge, and when they're dry, I'll be back and I'll show you how they all look together. All right, the Mod Podge is completely dry. It's actually dry, dried overnight. I love how all these little hard candies turned out. I think these are gonna be so fun to put into a scene with the dolls and take some pictures. Um, and then, of course, we've got and these you can just put in a bowl or, you know, whatever. They're, they're just fun. They're a fun thing to have on hand for your dolls. And then we've got these guys. So they also are all dry and they've got just a little bit of shine. Now we need to trim off the end so it looks more realistic. One of my pet peeves about a lot of YouTube videos lately is I see people cutting things like dowels and toothpicks with scissors. And that can be really dangerous. Use something that's made to cut hard things. My first choice is always my Easy Cutter, which is a, they're designed for wood. That's what they're designed for. 
They're an angle cutter. They're wonderful for cutting small pieces of wood. If you don't have those, pet claw trimmers. And you can even get pet claw trimmers at Dollar Tree. And they are made to cut. And the nice thing about these is they're made to cut round, so they won't flatten it as much. Um, but there are a lot, these two things are a lot safer. Scissors can be really dangerous, and I hate to see people using them on videos to cut things that shouldn't be cut with them. So all we have to do is just cut off those ends, and then we can, and they don't have to all be the same. I mean, you know, I mean, you can measure them if you want to. I make sure all of yours are the same length. I'm just cutting them about the same spot on the toothpick. And I'm going to have a lot of little toothpick pieces to sweep up when I get done. But that is how easy those are to do. And now the dolls have this wonderful, wonderful assortment of like popsicles, olipops, for their Halloween treats. Those, along with all the little hard candies we made, that will just be so fun if you're setting up a scene for your dolls for Halloween, for a Halloween party, or whatever. They'll be lots of fun, and you saw how easy these were to make. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. If you did like it, please push the like button. Leave me a comment. If you enjoy my content and haven't subscribed, please hit that subscription button. Uh, ring the notification bell so you know when I put up new content and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!